Welcome to the tutorial on adding platforms to the MACE Mission Builder. As you can see from the Mission Builder, MACE has four striker variants. The striker, the M1126, the M1128, and the M1129. We would like to add the striker medical evacuation vehicle, or M1133, to the Mission Builder for use in MACE missions. We can see that we have an available model of the M1133 in our Versig model library. Since I am using MVR Simulations Virtual Reality Scene Generator as my IG. Depending on the image generator you use and the models available, this may vary. The first step would be to open the Mission Object Configuration Tool, or MOCT, that is installed on your computer when MACE is installed. In the left column, select Platforms. You can see in the center column all the available platforms in MACE are shown. Scroll down until you see Striker. You can select any of the Striker variants, but we will start with the plain Striker. Right click on Striker and select Duplicate Striker. This creates a new platform called Striker Duplicate and adds all its configuration data in the right-hand column. It's best to start by copying a platform that is as similar as possible as the one you are trying to make. At first glance, this may look like a daunting task, but don't worry. By copying the original Striker, you only need to change a few items. The first item to change is the name. This can be found under the identification header and is used as the name of the platform in the Mission Builder. Since we are going to use the same naming standard as the rest of the Mission Builder, we will change the name to Striker M1133. Once you press Tab or click in another cell, the name changes in the center column to Striker M1133 Asterix. The asterisk means that you have unsaved changes and is a reminder to save your work. You can save it any time by clicking the Save button in the lower right corner. The next item to change is the primary disk type. The disk type, or enumeration, in simple terms is how the platform is identified on the network. As you can see, there are two disk types, primary and alternate. Primary is typically based on the CISO standard, while the alternate is typically based on the CAF DMO standard. The reference for enumerations for simulation interoperability is hundreds of pages long and contains thousands of unique enumerations. Since we know what we're looking for, we will simply search for M1133. As you can see, there are three different enumerations for the M1133 variants. Since our model does not have slat armor or a double V hull, we will use the first enumeration 11225-2530. Back in the mock, we will change the field for specific to make the enumeration match. Once changed, click save. The last item to change is the model itself. The file name for the model we want to use is m 1133 .us.desert.hpy. All we need to do is scroll down in the mock and find the location of the IG model, which is in section 11. Since I am using Versig as my IG, I would change the name of the model used on the Versig model line. Only change the name of the model. Make sure you leave the flags behind the model name alone. Once correct, click Save. The last thing we need to do is remove the weapon from the M1133 since it doesn't have any weapons. To do this, look at the center column of the M1133. Under Equipment, you will see it has an M249 on the main turret. To remove weapons, simply right-click on the M249 and select Delete M249 Main Turret. If you need to add weapons to the model, Right click on Equipment and select New Equipment from there. A simple form pops up in the right column. Select the drop down arrow to the right of the name and choose the weapon you would like to add. 
As an example, I will add an M2HB. For count, enter the number of rounds you would like your platform to carry. Lastly, choose the location of the weapon via hardpoint name. Depending on the platform, you may have multiple hardpoints available. Now, as you can see in the center column, we have an M2 heavy barrel on the main turret. Our new platform is displayed in blue, indicating that it is user-defined data. These platforms are saved in a separate folder and will not be overwritten when MACE is updated. The MOCT is an incredibly powerful tool and allows MACE users to tailor mission objects used in MACE. If you have any questions regarding the MOCT, feel free to contact us at support at bssim.com. Now when you restart MACE, your new striker M1133 will be shown in the mission builder, but we aren't finished yet. As you can see, the M1133 has been added to the MACE mission builder. We can add this platform to any MACE mission and make it drive around and do anything any other platform can do. However, we now need to let our IG know what models associated with this enumeration. We can do this one of two ways. We can manually change our IG mapping, or we can let the MOCT export the mission object's mapping. The MOCT can rewrite the mission object mappings for many IGs, including Versig, Blue IG, VBS, XIG, and Armor. Since this is only one model to add, manually changing the model map is quite simple and takes very little time. To do this, in Versig, navigate to your Versig models folder. From there, open the modelmap.ini file. This is best opened with Notepad. Like the mocked, search for Striker. You will notice that there are two lines associated with each model. The first line, which starts with an exclamation point, is the name of the association. The exclamation point comments out that line so Versig does not read it. The second line is the disenumeration followed by vehicle, which is used for entities that are associated with a vehicle or other rigid body model. You may also see human, bubble, or cylinder. Next, we will have the model file name to include the file extension. In Versig, this is .hpy. Behind the model file name are flags. These flags set the scale, custom appearance, and smoke effect for models, among other things. Copy the two lines of the striker. Move down to where the new model will be inserted, alphabetical is best, and insert the two copied lines. Again, like in the mocked, change the name, enumeration, and model file name. Save the model map and close. Additionally, you can have the mocked write it for you. From the mocked in the left hand column, you will see Export IG Model Mappings. Click that and a new window will open up. Across the top, you will see some different options. Remember that primary disk type is associated with the SISO standard, and alternate is for CAF DMO. Below that, you will have the tabs for the different IGs, each with their own different options. For Versig, you can include the level of detail. You can merge the new mappings into an existing model map. And finally, you have the option of building up to two new model maps and select where you would like them saved. Once you have all your options set, click the Build Versig Model Map.ini button. Please be patient as this may take a few seconds and there is no status bar. Once complete, the mock will report back any duplicate entries found. Note that some duplicates may be okay if they are the same 3D model and same detonation effects. Once the model map has been updated, feel free to launch Versig or if Versig is already running, 
press Ctrl M to reload the model map. For more information, refer to the MACE mocked manual found in your MACE documentation folder. As always, if you need assistance, please email us at support at bssim.com.